Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Ecap Tech. The good people at Bandwidth has sent me another awesome product to review and this is the X96X4 Android TV Box. And here it is on my table waiting to be unboxed just for you guys. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's get this unboxing going. Alright, so this is actually the fourth item that Banggood has sent me. The review has come out a bit late, but better late than never, I guess. Uh, the box is a bit beat up. I'm pretty sure that the TV box is pretty much intact inside, so let's see. So you've got an 8K video codec uh, support right off the box. And at the side, again, I guess this is one of the selling points of the Android box. So let's open it up. So you've got the X96 Android TV box right here. And let's see what else is inside. So you've got the remote, you've got the power brick or the power adapter, and you've got an HDMI cable. You got the user manual here, the package content. So you've got the device itself, the HDMI cable, the remote control, and the power adapter. And this is the TV box. It seems pretty small, guys. Pretty compact. So you've got X96 on the top. Uh, this looks to be like your LED display. And at the back, you've got various ports. You've got the HDMI here. You can actually connect an Ethernet cable and got audio video cable over here. And it does support optical audio out. So if you have an audio system that actually supports optical, then you can use the optical cable and attach it. And at the bottom, you've got TV box Android player. So it does say it has 4 gig of RAM and 64 GB of storage. And at the right side, we got a USB port here. It looks to be USB 3.0. Another USB it seems to be 2. 0 and you've got a micro SD card slot. So if you've got movies that you want to play and you copied it on your micro SD card or on your USB flash drive, then you can plug it in and play it using this player. So let's plug it in and just see how it looks turned on. Just boot. And it does have a cool LED light at the bottom. So let's try to turn off the lights and see how well this looks with the LED lights. Pretty cool RGB effects on the Android TV box itself, so I am a fan. So the X96X4 M-Logic Smart TV box has a chipset developed by M-Logic themselves and it is the S905X4, which is actually one of the reasons why it has X4 on the box. As I mentioned initially, it has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage and as you can see from the side, it does have support for USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. So if you've got a flash drive or a portable hard drive, you can plug it in and play any movies or photos that you've got on those drives. And in the middle here, you've got the micro SD card slot so you can put micro SD cards to also show your videos and your photos. It does come with Android 11 out of the box. I'll go ahead and show you the UI a bit later in the video. Uh, in terms of Wi-Fi support, it does have support for 802.11, for B, G, N, and AC. And it does have support for both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. It does have Bluetooth capability, so that tells me you might be able to connect a wireless controller and I'm going to be installing some games and see if you can actually game on this. In terms of video output, it can actually output display at up to 4K resolution and as mentioned on the box, it does have the capability or the engine to support 8K video decoding. So let's go ahead and see the UI and install some streaming apps like Netflix and we'll see how the device performs and get a rough idea of how it feels to navigate using the UI. So this is what the home screen looks like on the Android TV box. So you've got Google Play, Netflix, YouTube, and LED controls. And if you've noticed on the upper left guys, the TV box has actually enabled HDR automatically on my LG TV. So let's run some video tests. So let's go to YouTube. Let's use this real 4K HDR 60 frames per second LG Jazz HDR demo. Okay, YouTube 
you're done, let's check out Netflix. Okay, so quite unfortunate guys because the Android TV box doesn't support Widevine L1 and since this Android TV box doesn't seem to be on the list of certified devices uh, from Netflix, so you can only play videos up to 720p. If you have a 4K ready TV, then that's kind of a bummer guys. So I've connected the USB drive to the Android TV box and you can actually enable the KD player directly by pressing the KD button right there. I actually downloaded a couple of demo videos here. So let's test out 4K video playback first. And if you guys are interested in getting this Android TV box, if you use my promo code that I'll be displaying on screen right now, you can get additional discount that will definitely make this Android TV box worth your while. So is this Android TV box a piece of tech that you want to get? Based on the pricing, this is actually priced very competitively compared with the other Android TV boxes or Android TV sticks that you could get online. Not only does it play videos perfectly, but you can actually connect the controller with it and play games. So I guess I'll end my unboxing video on this X96 Android TV Smart Box. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is a piece of tech that you want to get. And as usual, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in my next one.